Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith of the Smith in the Black Smith in the Black channel here at Ticker Tocker with another Strat Time report because it's that time. Okay, so here's what we've been looking at, right? Been talking about this for the last day and a half, seems like so. Here's this on the lower left, you're gonna see the 60 minute spy, right? Okay. Here, this outside bar, then we went inside, and I said you're gonna get killed. I talked about it yesterday. We're still inside of this. So although if we go to the daily up top, you're going to see the inside day up top left. You can see the inside day. We gap down a little bit, but these two days are completely in this day's range. That's a problem, right? So you can expect this chop back and forth, and you're still going to see these signals that uh, you know that I talk about chopping them back and forth. And so here, you'll see this. Here's an inside bar, and it goes to the upside. And then you get the two up here, and then here's your reversal by taking that high out and then back down and back through a previous range. And you can see this back and forth and back and forth until we can get out of here. We are stuck. Here, right here at the end, you can see we just went inside on the 60 minutes. So we formed an equilibrium. That's somewhat good. But we are nowhere near taking this stuff out, right? That has to happen to have any significant movement occur. So if anybody's watching the futures and telling you what to do, Tell them it's doing nothing, and you're going to get killed in there, right? If we go to QQQ, Q's at least tried to take out, took out yesterday's, yesterday took out the previous high. But now look at this range in here. This is doing nothing, all right? The Q's are just stuck in here. So the good thing is we have formed an equilibrium, an inside bar on this. So if we can take some of this stuff, maybe we get something going. Hold on, I'm still doing a little searching around. Okay. If we go to the Dow Jones Diamonds here. Once again, slight lower low, but here, this is what you look for. Here, the reversal. It'll take out one part of the high and then back to a previous range. But still, you can see this. We are stuck in here. We call that a mother bar. And with, these are called mother bar issues. It's a problem, all right, because it means it's consolidating and doing nothing. Now, let's go back to some fun ones from yesterday or the, all this week, really. QDEL. Now, you'll recall how we talked about this here. The outside bar with the hammer to take this out and hopefully more and then boom right and as i came on yesterday if you go to the upper middle you see that inside week right so that's still good but what i said yesterday on the 60 is once you go up and you take out these highs right now I, this is a reversal the inside bar back down here right and i said did i say you get short i did and then it comes all the way back down now then you get a new day right and that's different because now when you get a new day you're still green on the week up top you're still green on the month and then anytime this day goes green and the 60 goes green you can hop right back in and get long again so cute real nice there an enph remember this little ditty so this thing yesterday i was talking about coming through here on the upper left when it came through here right getting killed and then if you go to the monthly here you're going to see this. This is this happened right as I was finished speaking, below 41.57, right? 41.57, and this thing craters down. And then what do I talk about? Because a lot of this stuff is going to be very repetitive, right? Whenever you get a new 60, you want to be aware of that. We call that the flip. And so yesterday it does this. Many of these setups I'm going to show you over and over again because it happens all the time. So, if you can go look into here, let me shrink that down or blow that up a little bit for you. Here, right at the bottom, you're going to see this. If I talked about this, an inside bar pokes out one side and then boom, comes back through. Right here, okay? Right there. And the important part is if you look up here, the time that that happened. Do I talk about the bottom of the hour being important? It, it is. We call that the flip. This is called a rev strat off the five minute. And if you go to the 30 minute, what did I talk about yesterday with the cutel? If you if you're short and you can take this stuff down, instead of just stopping out, you can reverse and get long. As it triggered this on the 30 minute right here on that flip. And so you can capture another buck and a half or so right back on the way up. So today that's going to be an inside day almost for sure. All right. And then if you go to a 60 here you can see this inside bar and it tried to go up here but when you are an inside bar like i just showed you in the s p you can expect back and forth right and so when i talk about the reversal strategy off an inside bar it's that other one that i showed you 
pokes down and comes back through, also can do it in one shot. So here, it attempted to go up, but once it comes back here and turns red, boom, then you can get short again to come here because we know outside bars exist. You're going to take that out. Now you can see if you can sink this baby down. Uh, other ones we've talked about, NVAX. Oh, yeah, NVAX. And the reason we looked at this, right, was this. The inside weak to the upside. Is that something I want to know about? Yes. That's the equilibrium forming. Don't trade. Then now, I talked about that this week, right? And then today, when you come in, what's this? That's an inside bar. Down, inside, and right back up on the opening. No lower low on NVAX. Still going real nice there. Spotify. In Spotify, here, just going bright green. Bright green on all time frames, right? If you go down to, say, a 15er, here, inside 15, right? Inside 15, inside 15, and there you go. There's your continuation pattern. If you go to a 30, here, this was inside on the 30 continuation. Spotify, still going. Have I talked about ZS this week? I think I have. I think I started talking about it uh, on the 60 down in here. This reversal down in here, right? That's where I first brought this to your attention, right here down at 101, 40, still going. And then we had that daily up here in the here up in the upper left. The inside day poked down and then still going. Hasn't stopped out on this thing. If you go to the middle, upper middle, you got the inside weak to the upside. And now you're inside in the 60s. So we can see if that sets up again too. Shoppy. Here you go. Shop, upper, middle, inside, weak to the upside. Have we talked about this? We definitely have. Now you got exhaustion risk because you're going into new highs, and that's okay. So here, I've talked about Momo Hammers. So long as shop in the next hour can stay above this, 866.01, you're good. All right, see if we can get that continuation going. ALNY, have I talked about this this week? I have. Why? Because of this, the weekly, here, up, upper, middle. And here's this, inside week, pokes down, and then comes back through previous range, right? Green on all time frames, now trying to motor up, and you can see this here on the 60. Here's how you start the day, pokes down, lower low, boom, higher high reversal right there, boom, you're back in again, or buy more. We've got edit, E-D-I-T, and E-D-I-T, here you can see this, once it, inside bar, Pokes down hammer, boom, takes all that out in the shot. So the other th continuation pattern in this, once again, I've shown you all these. You're going to see this can be very repetitive. Take out a high, take out a low. Now, if you can take this out, that's the two up, two down, continuation over 3308. If we go to CRM, CRM, okay. And here it goes outside on the week, and it's bright, bright green. So one of the things you want to look for, uh, especially when you come into a Thursday on a weekly chart, you want something bright green, or or monthly, or at least daily, and you got that all on all this stuff. CRM on the 15 does this here. We wait for them to poke into the highs, stop out the lows, and then when it takes this, that's the two up, two down, right there. Continuation still going for the CRM. AYX and here. Now you can see this thing going inside and up on the 15, right here on the new 60. You see this? This goes down, inside, and right back up. And you can see on the lower left, I mean the lower middle, inside month and up. And then this week, what do we look for? Do we look for inside weeks to the upside? We do. And there it is. There's your inside week taking that out. Over 146.86. Is that 146.86? Not bad. Now trading 159.66, and then you look for this corrective activity where you can scoop it up off the 15. How's the 30 looking? See if you can two down, two up. How about the 60? 60 inside. So we can see if we can take this thing for more continuation over 116, 160.14. W. Have we talked about W this week? I think we have. And Dub's coming in a little bit here. Oh, no, it's not right. Let me see here. Yeah, dub's coming in here a little bit, but still that inside week up in the upper middle, right? You can see that inside week to the upside. And now here, if you look at the 60, inside bar pokes down. Now if we can get it through here, 204.81, we're good to go. 
The problem here is we're having a lot of doldrum, doldrums of the futures doing nothing, right? So that's a bit of an issue, right? We've got OVID, OVID, here. Look at the weekly. You see that inside bar that pokes down and comes back up? There you go. And that's over 557.75 or 557, now trading 706, right? So far, so good. We'll see if that gives you anything more of an entry over here. Might get it inside 30 here, so we'll see how that goes. Roku. And Roku, still coming up here. It's green on all time frames. That's good. And if you go to the 60, you see how it started the day. You see this? This poked down by a few cents. That's a two down. This is a reversal right out the chute. And you're coming back through a previous range. That's when you get that... that speed if you will because you have guys stopped here 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 and here you ready goodbye boom takes them all out like that go to what's our cl down okay if we go to flowers f l w s it's like we like the downside too don't we we do <laughs> that, that's how you hedge yourself you have longs and shorts so here it gaps up on the 60 you see this this is a two to the upside because it's higher than that. Boom, here's your reversal right there on the 60. And then if you go to the 30, you're going to see this here, down, inside. Boom, still good. Any higher highs? Uh-uh, still puking. And that's what you like to see. On the downside, we've got ANET here, and you can see this on the daily. Now trying to change that, that weekly back red. But on the daily, you can see this was a 2-2 reversal here up in the upper left. Up, down, and now continuing to puke, right? That's good. And then, what do we look for? We look for the inside bar continuation on the 60 right here. Boom. See, uh, below 219.30, still going to the downside. It's also Thursday, so what do we look for on Thursday? A natty gas number. Degas for a little more bang for the buck, if you will. Degas here. You see this? This is higher than that. It pokes up. And then right here's your reversal. Below 392.12. And there you go. Trading 377 for what? 13, 14 bucks. Stuff like that. Also a little bit of weakness in the towers. And the good thing about the towers is that they um, will trade together. And the towers are American Tower. And you can see this inside day up here to the downside. Now trying to go inside 60 down right now in a continuation below 257.60. It's there right now. And they trade with CCI here. And that's stuck for now, but you can see very similar. And as back towers. All right. Then sometimes you get the real fun ones like ALPN. <laughs> ALPN. ALPN. So let's, we had short entries off the shorter time. Here, you see this on the opening? That's a 2 2 reversal on the five minute. That was below 1303 before puking and making a higher high at 1076. Nice, nice little 20 minutes of work. Now, when you slow it down and you just take the 60, look at this. Did this poke down here? Did. Right in here. Pokes down and then boom. 2-2 two, two reversal back up over 10-16. And there you go. Spikes up over 13. So a lot of good stuff. You just have to be really aware that this uh, the futures are stuck. And until we get out of that stuff, you can expect back and forth chop and chop. You got Spotify trying to go to the highs and flowers going to the lows right now. All right. That's going to do it for today. I'm Russ Smith of the Black Channel here. Ticker Talker with the Strat Time Report.